<sighs> What's up y'all? Ron Kwok here and today we're talking about cold gear EDC. Stuff you're gonna need to stay warm and cozy on a cold, brisk morning ride. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Good to see you guys once again. It's nice and cozy in here, so let's talk a little bit more and discuss here without freezing our butts off outside, all right? But hey, cold gear EDC, let's do it. Starting from the top, to protect this barren chrome dome, I've got this Carhartt Knit Cuffed Beanie. Carhartt has a rock solid reputation for producing sturdy work gear to keep you protected and warm, whether you're on the job or heading out to cruise on that morning brisk one wheel run. I have one that I use on the daily as well as a few stashed away in my emergency go bag just so I'm prepared for the cold in that scenario. For my mask covering, I have the brand new Aus Air Airweave Merino Mask. It's 2021 and we're not out of the woods yet with the COVID pandemic, so why not protect yourself and your loved ones and stay warm at the same time? The Airweave focuses on protection, comfort, and breathability. The package comes with copper filters that slip right into the mask that's designed to deactivate over 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Both the filter and mask material are engineered to be super breathable so you don't get distracted. The mask is made from New Zealand wool, arguably the best wool in the world. And the straps on either side are both cushioned and adjustable to dial in the fit. Now I've tested this mask for about a month now, and I gotta say, it's one of the more comfortable ones that I've worn throughout the entire pandemic. Mm. Oh, it feels really good. It's nice. It's clean, I like that it's subtle, you know what I mean? There's the cream and the gray, but of course I like the blackout. Real clean, minimal, it goes right over the chin, but it doesn't envelop your neck, you know what I mean? The nose piece is interesting. Uh, most other masks will have like a little tin piece right here that you bend and is flexible and you mold it to your nose. But what's cool about this one is there's a foam insert there that adds added comfort. Oftentimes I've found that there's this trade off between breathability and protection. The more protective and sealed a mask seems to be, the harder it feels like to breathe through it. Now ideally you're gonna to wanna to find something that does both really well and doesn't compromise one way or another. And I feel like the Airweave executes this really well. It's got that mask layer, it's got the filter layer that a lot of other masks don't really use to begin with, you've got the adjustable straps that are also elastic and soft to the touch, and finally you've got an adjustable nose bridge that has that added foam padding on top of it to make it feel even better when you're wearing it. So thank you to Aus Air for sending me a sample to review and for sponsoring this video. If you wanna stay safe and warm this winter season, go ahead and check out the link in the description for 15% off your first order. For all around warmth, my go-to is the Patagonia Quilted Bomber Hoodie. It's a windproof and water resistant insulated shell that's exceedingly good at keeping you toasty and dry. The hoodie and elastic cuffs help keep the biting cold from hitting the weak spots at your neck and wrists and is responsibly made with recycled materials and is fair trade certified sewn. Stay cozy and feel good about it. Next. Now I've always complained about cold hands. Trust me, it's terrible, it sucks, you don't want cold hands. So I approached the problem with two solutions. The fingerless wool gloves by Minus 33 and the Zippo refillable hand warmer. I prefer fingerless gloves because it helps me retain my dexterity. Now I know there are e-gloves out there with conductive fingertips, but I don't like them because I just don't like using blunt tips when I'm using touch screens or when I'm typing, and sometimes it doesn't even recognize my finger when I'm touching the smartphone, even with the conductive fingertips on. So this solves my pain point right here. The hand warmer is honestly a godsend. Fill it up with lighter fluid, light the igniter, and you have yourself a micro furnace of heat for up to 12 hours. Fun fact, the warmer is engineered to actually work off the fumes of the lighter fluid, and it doesn't produce an actual flame. So for all you liars out there, don't worry. Your pants will not be on fire. <laughs> Topping off the list are these wool socks from Grip6. They're thick, cozy, moisture wicking, and keep those footies from freezing over. They also provide good compression and offer extra padding where it counts, so it's a smooth ride all day long. And there you go, Cold Gear EDC 2021. 
I hope you guys liked this one and found it helpful. If I could save one cold soul from an unforgiving winter, I'm happy. If you like this one, let me know by hitting that like button down below, subscribing if you haven't already, and I can't believe it's almost December already. 2021 is over. Are y'all excited about 2022? We'll have to see. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Live with purpose. Peace.